idle. Do you really expect me to leave you, run away and save myself? Have met us this once, Lady Melia. It is our duty to protect you with our lives. Do not... Not. I cannot return to the capital with this monster still stand... Turned up the heat. I've never seen such a dense forest. Me neither. How much further? This must be the back of the Bionis. If Shulk's vision is right, we've still got a long way to go. You mean go on in this heat? I'm sweatier than a brog's armpit. We'll have to search for the best route. Sadly, until we find a way, we'll have to put up with Rhine's stench. Shala? We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Father! Weak, weak and pathetic! What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done! You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! A silver-faced Mechon. And who was that girl? These visions show me people and places I've never seen. If only I could find out what they mean. We could use them to our advantage. Look over there. A rope bridge. It looks Homs made. Not Homs. Nopon. Though a lot of them have settled in our colonies, the Nopon are originally native to Machna Forest. Do you think they'd know the way to the Bionis head? Uh, I can't say. But walking around in circles isn't going to achieve anything. Our best bet is to look for their village. Over there. Hey, are you okay? 
You! Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need water-type ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too. So I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. Who are you? Hello there. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere.
They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly...? There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Albert, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? That was amazing. I suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I... control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. You see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely its spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence, of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis. How do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Shulk! Shulk! Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk! We looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. 
I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Sharla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alves, who are you? An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No. I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay. Locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold... I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone, and you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? 
That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Aerith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, Bird Lady! Welcome back, Bird Lady! I wish to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? My pleasure, my pleasure. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird Lady here. Uh, Melia back. Bird Lady back. Bird Lady? My dear Melia, it's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrifice their lives so that I might escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a Hom Hom need of me? They require safe passage to Aerith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these Homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her.
Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <laughs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the Aether Crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who... who are you? The Monado. So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia... The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia, we can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. Why then? It's just... I... I want... Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. I... would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. Oh, yeah! In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face mech on, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Chief Dunga, I... Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. You do know we're listening. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. Please excuse me. A Nopon hero? Now this I have to see. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first. May I introduce... Herapon Ricky! Oh, what's that? Oh, get off me! Oh, to you! Uh, but, oh, but, 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 right in the... Take this, bubble! Oh, that's good. Introduce to you this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Ricky. New Hum Hum friends, meet this year's legendary hero upon Ricky. Ricky live to serve. Uh. What is this? Ricky never see before. This not Ricky's Machna. Ricky never see before. To think it has caused this much damage. What do you mean? Are you telling me that Telethia did this? Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. I know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side, it doesn't stand a chance. It's much more powerful than its offspring. Do not expect it to fall so easily. I won't. But we have to trust in the Monado. Shulk has only met Telethia once, and they were merely the spawn. So why is he so sure of himself? Is it confidence or a trust in something? Yes, it is trust. He trusts in the power of that sword. What did he say it was called? The Monado. Vengeance, my brethren, and fulfill my duty. Shulk, I will trap it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right. Melia. <sighs> Be still. Oh yeah, she's nifty with that stuff. I knew it. She can control ether energy without using catalysts or rifle shells. I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one. Shulk, right, Shala, protect Melia at all costs. On it. Right. Ah! Summon wind! Summon <laughs> melt! Regenerative power is too much. It is all right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. Never, Melia. The men you lost, 
I can tell they were dear to you. I know only too well that desire for revenge and the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by unless another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you hit the Telethia with everything you have. Thank you. Ready? Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way... Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. It's like a Tefra cave. It was almost natural, instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mech on into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Hoggard, Garin, Damil, Eisel. Are you there? I did it. It's dead, did you see? I thank you for your aid in my cause. Justice has been served. You're welcome. Besides, it was mostly you. Dino Beast! Hereupon Ricky ready for round two! Hey! hey. A fight over already? No, oh, Ricky not no! I'm afraid it's all finished. We couldn't have done it without you, brave little Hereupon. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky brave! Ryan also a little brave. Ricky happy happy! Here upon Ricky be proud! Here upon Ricky tough guy! Here upon Ricky bestest! Look at him. Barely hit a toe and he gets all the praise. Oh, <laughs> let him have his glory. A few days ago the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides... Won't you miss him just a little bit? Chief Dunga, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, your little ponds ate like ravenous Oluga. It set Chief Dunga back quite a bit. No pawn, no frontier village. A new prophecy has been told. Our hereupon slayer of Dino Beast will further his legend by accompanying the Hom Hom on their travels and bringing peace to the lands of Bayonis. Oh, Ricky never hear this. It was prophesied many years ago. Chief lying! Chief, make a prophecy one minute ago! Oh, Ricky mad! Ricky! Go with these people! For the sake of the village, you must go! My instinct is never wrong. 
<gasps> Do not worry, Ricky. Your little puns will be taken care of. <laughs> Dadapon stomach rumble. Dadapon need food. Dadapon need food now. Dada, Ricky, what on by honest is going on? Friends, meet Ricky, wifey pon, and little pon. You have got to be joking. Wife and children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends look puzzled. Not puzzled. Just surprised. Ricky! Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food. Chief Danga know best. Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life. Ricky will! Okay, Oka. Ricky happy to join friends. Ryan happy too. Come on, Furball. Now you can return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Makna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same hom hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These hom hom fought valiantly in aid of our village, and a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. The chief has spoken. You should depart for Erith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. Melia, what will you do now? I would like to repay you for your help. Permit me to act as your guide to Aerith Sea. Of course. We'd love you to. But I must warn you. Aerith Sea is vast. Do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? Then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Heard of it? I have seen it. A dark tower at the head of the Bayonis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it? I believe what you saw was Prison Island. Prison Island? Dixon said the same thing. Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island, but I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. No one may enter without Imperial sanction. Imperial sanction, eh? That means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entia. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. Sanctions? Empires? Anyone help here? Oh, a sanction is permission from someone important. An empire must be a place ruled by an emperor. In other words, we need an emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? 
Long before we Homs built the colonies, a group of so-called royal types or imperials ruled our lands. Think of them like the heads of our colony, but with much greater influence and power. Now I get it. Dumban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? That's first year Homs history, Ryan. I might have slept through that class. So when do we get to meet these high end tier folks? You are so... Oh, forget it. First, we must travel to the Imperial capital. We'll see how easy it is to see this Emperor. My promise was to be your guide. I will not break it. Melia, isn't that the... The shortcut to Arid Sea. Yes. What is it? Friends, jumping ball! <laughs> All go to Erith! Jump? In that? You're nuts, Furball! You have nothing to fear! This will take us to Erith Sea, 